In this video, we'll talk about the decimal arithmetic and the importance of auxiliary carry flag. As the name suggests, decimal arithmetic, here we are going to feed decimal numbers to microcontroller instead of hexadecimal numbers. And as usual, microcontroller does its internal operations in binary and outputs decimal result instead of hexadecimal result. But we cannot feed decimal numbers directly. We feed decimal numbers through the concept of BCD numbers. Here, I assume that we already know about binary coded decimal numbers and I don't go in depth with BCD numbers. So, the next question is, when I feed two BCD numbers to the microcontroller, am I going to get the right result? Let me check it. For example, say I want to add 31 with 34. I should, I should get 65 as my result. Am I going to get it? Let me check it. The BCD equivalent of 31 is 0011. And BCD equivalent of 34 is 00110100. When I add these two numbers, I'm going to get 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, carry 1. I'll get 1 here and 0 here. And this is... 6, this is 5, I'm going to get 65. Yes. When I feed two BCD numbers to microcontroller, I'm going to get the right result. But can I conclude so with just one example? Let me take one more example and see what happens. In this example, say I want to add 34 with 37 and I will get, I'm supposed to get 71 as my result. Am I going to get this result? Let me check it. BCD equivalent of 34 is 0011 and 0100. BCD equivalent of 37 is 0011 0111. And I'm going to get 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. I'm going to get 1 here. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1. And I carry 1. Here it is 1, 0 and this is equivalent to 6B. So I should have got 71 but instead of that I am getting 6B as my result. So here I am not getting the right result. If I look at the difference between two results 6B and 71 the difference is 6C, 6D 6E, 6F, 70 and 71. It is 6. The difference is 6. Okay. Keep this, keep this in mind and let me try with one more example. Say I want to add 28 with 29. I'm supposed to get 57. Am I going to get it? Let me check it again. 0010100. Zero zero one zero one zero zero one. When I add these two things, I'm going to get zero plus one is one, zero plus zero is zero, zero plus zero is zero again, one plus one is zero, carry one, zero plus zero is zero, plus carry one, it is one, one plus one is zero, carry one, it is one, zero. So this is equivalent to pi, and that is one, fifty one. Again, I did not get the right result. I should have got 57, but instead of that, I am getting 51. And if I calculate the difference between these two numbers, again it is 06. So one important point here is, I am going to get a difference of 06 between the results. So if I can add 06 to the added result, I am going to get the right result. So when should I add 06? If I observe here carefully this bit, 
I'm going to get a carry from lower nibble to higher nibble in this case. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. So here auxiliary carry flag is set to 1. This is where auxiliary carry flag plays its role. Whenever auxiliary carry flag is set to 1, I should add 0, 6 to the result to get the right answer. Coming back to the first example here, if I check auxiliary carry flag, here it is not set. So I need not have to add anything to the result because I can conclude that I have got the right result. And coming back to the second example, if I check it here, 0 plus C is 0 and auxiliary carry flag is not set here. And I haven't got the right result. So what is the problem with this? If I observe closely, B is not defined. B is not defined in BCD. There are only 10 different numbers in BCD format. Those are 0, 1 till 9. B is not defined. So what I can say here is, whenever the nibble is more than 9, I have to add 0, 6 to the result to get the right answer. But the good thing here is we need not have to add 0, 6 explicitly to the result to get the right answer. Microcontroller does that thing by itself. It provides an opcode called DAA which is nothing but decimal adjust accumulator. What it does is, whatever accumulator contains, it adjusts that value to a decimal number. So what it internally does is, it first checks auxiliary carry flag. If it is set to 1, then it adds 0, 06 to the result to get the right answer. If auxiliary carry flag is not set, then it doesn't add anything. To get the right answer. It assumes that whatever result we have got is the right result. Next, what it does is it checks the nibbles. It checks the nibbles. If the nibble is greater than 0, 09, then again it adds 0, 06 to get the right answer. This is what DAA does. And one more important point here is this DAA works correctly only with add, add C, that's all. It works correctly with only these two things, add and add C. If I want to adjust the result of sub, subtraction with borrow or say multiplication or say division, here it doesn't work correctly to get the right result. The programmer has to take care to get the right result. So this was about decimal arithmetic and the importance of auxiliary carry flag.